today I figured I'd do a vlog and kind of just take you all with me throughout my day. I just drove in from Queens. As you all know, I'm from Queens and when I work Friday in the city and work on Saturday, it's easier for me to stay in Queens and on top of it, Michael was on call all weekend. So it's actually better for me to just see all my family and friends while I'm in Queens. And then since Michael's on call, I figured that kind of just makes the most sense instead of commuting all the way back to Jersey. That being said, I actually extended my stay in Queens and even stayed Sunday night. <clears throat> God, my voice is so thirsty. Where was I? So I extended my stay in Queens and I am now back in the city. So I drove in, parked my car in my usual parking lot. Love this parking lot. And I think and I'll take you kind of throughout my day, maybe even throughout my week. I have a busy day today and I really wanted to do something for my skin. So I may do some microneedling. As you probably already saw in my old videos, I did a little video of three must get skincare treatments for the winter and microneedling was one. So I'll kind of give you guys a rundown like and how I prepare for it, prep the skin and how we do it tonight. So stay tuned. Also, do you guys enjoy when I do these vlogs? I figured a lot of people prefer just to kind of see a day in a life rather than just me lecturing or talking about specific topics. Oh yeah, another perk on staying home is that my mom is awesome and she always has goodies so I get to pack my lunch. I think I'm gonna go back to packing my lunch. Lately, I've been a little lazy and was ordering food. Also, there are just so many good places in West Village and I feel like I always wanna take advantage of ordering lunch, but that gets expensive. So, lunch it is. Another staple in New York City is always getting a coffee from a local coffee shop. And this place just opened up in the West Village, so I am going to get a coffee. Okay, never mind. It's a place to sit down and not get coffee on the go. So back to the original plan of finding another local coffee shop to get some coffee. One thing I miss about New York City is getting my Christmas tree from these stands. I love that. The holiday season in the city is the best. Okay, and just a quick little rundown of the outfit. Have my green furry jacket, white cardigan, and beige pants or beige leather pants with my Lofa Randall boots. I actually got this jacket from a Paris and through a sample sale. So I got it for super, super, super cheap. And it's actually really, really, really warm. Their coats are so fun. They either have like the fur like this or like the teddy fur. So either are both super cute, but yeah. So that's that, that's my outfit. And I'm gonna go get my coffee and then start my work day. Okay, so I am numbing. I'll keep this on for about 30 minutes. I already feel really numb. Painless. And this is why it's called a vampire facial. Okay, so this was painless and I'll be nice and red for about 48 to 72 hours, but I'll be using my skincare and I'll go over that Same. after. Okay, so I'm home now. This is how my face look post two hours microneedling. I'm gonna go wash it with a gentle cleanser, put my repair cream, which is my bio cream by Neocutis and some Hyalis, which is pure hyaluronic acid. And that is all for the rest of the night. I'm actually gonna just use a gentle cleanser, those two moisturizers, my SPF for a week. I'm not gonna use any of my actives, such as my retinols or any of my acids um, for the rest of the week. And I'll keep you posted on how my skin actually looks and feels. I did do a, like a short reel um, or TikTok on this, but figured I'd give you more of a live view on this. So this is my skin. I'm gonna wash my eye makeup off now, and wash my face, and then I'll apply my moisturizer. First up, my Bioderma Micellar Water with my Kind Pad, and I'm going to use that to wipe my eye makeup off. 
that's done. Now time to wash my face. And yes, I'll be using my Inject Gentle Cleanser. All right, skincare is on for the night. This is my skin right now. And we'll see how it looks in the morning. Catch y'all in the morning. Okay, lip mask is on and I am officially done for the night. Gonna work out in the morning, gonna go food shopping, meal prep, all that fun stuff. Tomorrow's my day off. And um, hopefully we will go get our Christmas tree and decorate that. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go watch some TV and call it a night. So I'll catch you all in the morning. And we are on our way to the gym. Woo! Face is looking not bad. Han, you're in the video. All right, workout is complete. Time for my favorite iced coffee, Rook. And this is my favorite flavor, mocha mint. Put a little bit of water, and some half and half. What the hell did I just say? And some half and half. It's a little light, so I may add some extra coffee. And then I'll shower and I'll show you my skin after. But so far, people at the gym definitely thought I was scary, but oh well, YOLO. Okay, so this is my skin. I showered, I cleaned my face. And right now I have just hyaluronic acid, some cream, and SPF on my skin. I did my mascara just to not scare people while I'm shopping for food. Probably still wear a hat. This is my robe. It's from Pottery Barn. It's so comfy. Pottery Barn has the best robes. Highly recommend to get one for your loved one for the holiday season. All right, let's go food shopping. Okay, change of plans. I'm not going food shopping yet. I'm going to make some breakfast and then go food shopping. I'm starving from the gym. So I'll be making a smoothie and some sunny side up eggs on a wrap and maybe a side of bacon. I don't know why I picked up the lactose free one. I'm not lactose intolerant. I think I just wasn't paying attention. So yeah. Okay. Oh. Over easy for who? Me. Oh, who did this? You. For some reason, you like scrambled eggs. Some reason. Good reason. That red face is looking really good. <laughs> okay, I'm in my car. I'm waiting for it to warm up. So I'm going to be going to Whole Foods to do my food shopping for the week meal prep a bit. It's what I usually do on my day off. I'm a Whole Foods gal. I think I'm loyal to Whole Foods over Trader Joe's. I just find that their sales are better and their produce is a lot more fresh than Trader Joe's. I do like Trader Joe's for their snacks. I will say they have good snacks, especially their nut packs, but I don't know. I just always go back to Whole Foods. And also if you're a Prime member, you get additional sale discounts. And usually how I pick my produce for the week is whatever's on sale. So it ends up matching with pricing of different grocery stores for me personally. And I feel like I'm actually getting better quality produce. And that's what's more important to me. I do like food shopping for some reason, I feel like I like picking my own produce and my own fruits and vegetables. I probably could order like a few pantry staples online, which I do sometimes, but I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go food shopping and then I'm probably going to go get our Christmas tree then. I have to pick up Michael so we can go get the Christmas tree together. And I have my Christmas stuff in my trunk because I brought it from my mom's house because I was storing it there because we had no room to store it in our Manhattan apartment. But now we have storage because we basically live in the burbs. So yeah. I mean, between sunglasses and a hat and a mask, you really cannot even tell that I did microneedling. So anyone for downtime, really? This is 24 hours and not bad. So I think it's pretty doable. Done. Grocery shopping. Two bags full. I'll go over what I got at home. Hey, you're not in it. I mean, Michael wants to be in my video. Why does he want to be in my video? I, I never want to be, be in his video. videos. <laughs> Annoying me. Anyway, we are back from Whole Foods and I will show you guys my grocery items that I got. Some items were on sale and then some I just picked up because I am making some chili this week um, for just meal prep. I usually typically pick recipes that last us a couple of days just because with our work schedule and also who feels like cleaning a kitchen every day. I mean, real talk. Also, I had my couch nicely made. 
Now, of course, Michael messed it up with this blanket, pissing me off again. He's really pissing me off today. Can he just go to work today? All right, now let's see what we got. <laughs> Hate him. Okay, so. I'm trying to get the best light in here. It's, you're like kind of in a, Dave, you look so scary with that red. Why would you tell me it looks scary? <laughs> It's the lighting of the thing and also... What does the lighting of the thing mean? This lighting on your face is making it like double down. All right, what do we have? So we're gonna make some chili. So I got some turkey, organic ground turkey on organic ground turkey breast. I like to mix the both of them because one's really lean and has zero flavor and the other one gives it a little bit more flavor. Some kidney beans, some black beans, some fire roasted tomatoes, tomato paste, some chicken broth, onions and peppers. Michael has been loving my fall salad, which you may or may not have seen on Instagram. So it's baby arugula, chopped onion, some red onion, some pomegranate, um, some goat cheese. Oh, I ate all the pomegranate. Did you get more? Of course he ate all the pomegranate. Luckily I got more. And who do you think cleans these pomegranates? Me. And then Michael has the luxury of eating them. And then also, these are my favorite, like when you just need a sweet tooth, these pep Lily's peppermint baking chips. It doesn't come in a bar. Sometimes I get the bar. But yes, if you want something sweet, I highly recommend. And then blueberries were on sale. Honeycrisp apples were on sale. Those are my favorite apples. Broccoli crowns were on sale. And that's really, oh, avocados were on sale. This is also my favorite bread. I used to get the Ezekiel bread, but honestly, it just tastes like cardboard. Sometimes you just gotta live. <laughs> and this might be- It's not that bad. No, but this one just has such a better flavor. Pretty much just all real ingredients, like water, whole wheat flour, cracked whole wheat, salt, yeast, can't beat it. Oh, and walnuts, because I like walnuts. I think I'm gonna make um, overnight oats with some blueberries. Walnuts, um, some cinnamon, and that's really it. Oh, and then I need olive oil. I always cook with extra virgin olive oil. Hashtag Croatian. Yeah, I mean, who cooks with canola oil? Please don't use canola oil, guys. Babe, it's so bright under your. your oh so my god! I mean, he's really making me self conscious. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, under then. your eyes right here. Oh, it's really red. and coffee. You know, I usually buy local coffee from coffee shops, but. Whole Foods was having like 20% off bags of coffee. So I just bought the Whole Foods brand. Bags of coffee. Bags of coffee. And that's really it. All right, switched my hat. I was looking for this bad boy early in the day. Because I wanted an all black outfit. Once again, why is he questioning me? <laughs> and unfortunately, I had to pick up someone very special. <laughs> We're gonna go get our Christmas tree. We're debating on either going to a tree farm, because now that we live in the burbs, there's lots of farms. Or we may be debating on going to a firehouse, or local firehouse, because they give the money to charity. So probably do that. It's easier, it's local, it's close by. So we'll probably end up doing that. All right, so little change of plans. When you saw us earlier, we actually went to all the local fire departments and they actually weren't selling trees. So we're like, all right, we're gonna have to go to a farm to get a tree. And at that point, Michael had to go home and do something quickly for work. And I'm like, all right, let me just run all my errands. So I kind of just went to Target to get a few things. Uh, the dry cleaners and the post office, I needed some stuff. And by that time, it was already dark, as you can see. Well, actually not really dark, but now it's dark, but it's only like four. Michael said that he was going to cook and I was going to go directly to the farm since I was already out to get the Christmas tree. I went to one, but they were closing, so I couldn't. My, I really wanted to cut down a tree because that's the whole point of going to a farm, but we didn't, or I'm not going to because one, they already have them cut, and then two, I don't think I could do it alone. So anyway, another farm further away from our house, and it's adorable, and I'm actually really excited to see if Michael actually can cook dinner, because this is his first time cooking dinner. He'll be cooking chili, 
So we shall see. So I'm gonna go get my tree and let's see how we do this. All right. Okay, I'm gonna FaceTime Michael so we can pick out a tree together. There are so many trees. I don't know what to do. I'm overwhelmed. All right, I think I found the one. Let me show you a uh, full view. He's cute. All right, it's really dark in here, but I just learned a fun fact that the trees here were not actually grown here in Jersey. They were grown on the border of Canada and New York. And typically, yes, there are local farms that do grow their own trees, but because of the weather conditions, they don't actually come out looking pretty or aesthetically pleasing. So that's why a lot of farms actually have them delivered. Also, there's a shortage because there's not enough drivers. So yeah. Dr. Cellini came to the rescue. He's a chef and he's taking down watch the, the tree. Watch the whole tree fall. Okay, so we brought the tree in and we're deciding on where to put our Christmas tree. And we weren't sure if we should do it in this corner where our chair used to be or this corner here we actually moved the couch over. The only thing is I originally wanted it there just because I prefer having the chair there, but I think it looks adorable if I buy the window. Now we have this chair that's gonna look kind of weird here, but what can you do for the holidays? We'll just keep it there. We'll just deal. What do you think, Dr. Chili? We're having our friends over, hence the alcohol on the table. <laughs> Dr. Cellini is currently making dinner, hence the disaster of the towels here. Let's see how the chili is looking. Okay, chili's looking good. Excuse the stove. Dr. Cellini, when Dr. Cellini cooks, he makes a very, very big mess and a disaster. Also, he uses a napkin to store the wooden spoon when we have this guy right here. So Dr. Cellini decided on this area and I think it looks adorable. I think this is our tallest tree. This is so tall. I know, I think I made it a little I'm too tall. It's like eight feet tall. I think it's too tall. Okay, update, we ran out of lights. I forgot that our lights from a couple of years ago only covered our tree up to here as you can see. So we're gonna have to go to Lowe's and get some more lights. And then maybe we'll get some lights for our balcony. What do you say, hon? That's a good idea. <laughs> this is always so much work, but I guess it's worth it in the end. So Dr. Cellini did an incredible job making the chili. I'll give him a 10 out of 10. You were worried about it. She was worried about it. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so we are officially done with the Christmas tree. I ran out of lights, so we went to four different stores and no one had lights, including Lowe's. And I found them in Walgreens because I didn't want to wait to order them. Then I went to Home Goods to look for more ornaments and there were none left. So yeah, um, the, I'm just gonna have to go with my OGs that I had. Close up of the finished product. That is that. So I'm going to end the vlog now. This was just a quick day in my life on my, my day at work, day off, and what I do, and that's really it. So hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like something like this, then I'll do them more frequently. Other than that, I'll see you all on my next channel. Oh my gosh. Other than that, I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.